you are watching the Okaile show on YouTube, what you are saying. So, and I'm going to apologize again. We're going to go to the English side of the show, what you are saying. So, if you are a home health aide looking for a job, um, call this number 347-334-9455. If you don't have the certificate, meaning when you're home health aide and you want to become a home health aide, call the same number, 347-334-9455. We have our guest, hmm. Oya Ghana Ning, but on t on t um Ghana Kasama. So I'm not gonna go deep. We're gonna speak English. Oh, That's what I said. Yes, I'm, I know. <laughs> so <laughs> you see, I know mommy issues, no. So don't go anywhere. Watch out. Also, mommy tough time. So I'm prepared for him. Bafo. You should have mentioned your name to them, but I did mention your name. So you can continue from there. Introduce yourself to my viewers for me. Your friend is baby Africa. Hey. Bravo. <laughs> okay. Guys, baby Africa, what do you mean? I'm Africa's baby. Yes. So I am baby Africa. Everybody who is African's baby is baby Africa. Baby da, baby da. No, no, baby. Hey. Friend, man. Huh? Now, me. Uh -huh. Baby Africa. So, no, what about Bafo? Your friend, Bafo, Kodia, Deborah, Jumphy. Huh? Bafo, Kodia, Deborah, Jumphy. Bafo. Kodia, Deborah. Kodia, Deborah. Okay, Bafo could be a Debra Entry. Jumpy. Jumpy. Bafo would be a day. Bafo could. What's from Kwabana? Kwabana, yeah, what I mean? Kwabana. It's your word, I mean? That's too much free. Let's slow it down a little bit. But you know what, yeah, yes, I'm. You are bragging, like you, you started the tree, so I have to bring the tree out. I'm going to bring it right back in. <laughs> So, thank you for coming to the Okaile no show on you YouTube, right? Thank you for inviting me. So, we're going to start the interview. I have some couple of questions for you. Okay. So, you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. So, do you live in the Bronx? Yes, born and raised my whole life. So, so why are you still here? If you're born and raised here, why are you still in the Bronx? Because it's beautiful. So, have you been to different states? Of course. So, what state that you've been to? I've been to Los, I've been to um, California. Mm -hmm. I've been to Georgia. Mm -hmm. I've been to Washington. Mm -hmm. I've been to Texas. Mm -hmm. I used to live in Connecticut mm -hmm. for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, of course, I was just in New Jersey yesterday. Oh, okay. I've been to um, Pennsylvania. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, then you've been to different states. Of course. Okay. No, no, um, I ask that because some people are born and raised here and they don't know even Connecticut. That's, that's true. Yeah, so that's I'm true. just curious to know if you've been to different places. Yeah. So um, let me bring you to Ghana. Have you been to Ghana before? Debbie. Why? Sika. Sika Sasai. That's a lot. I don't understand. A lot like. I never had the, the opportunity. And every time I'm supposed to go to Ghana, somebody dies. Mm -hmm. every, time I'm supposed to go to, every time I'm supposed to go to Ghana, somebody dies. Die here or die in Ghana? In Ghana. So you have family members in Ghana? I have several thousand family members in Ghana. Okay, so do you know them? Once you've not been to Ghana, do you know them? Not all of them. Not all of them? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you... I, I, I know more unknown than known. If my family is 100%, I probably only know... 15%. So you know them on the phone or they come here in person? Some of them used to live with us. Oh, okay. When I was, you know, when I was younger, mm -hmm. a lot of my aunts, uncles, and cousins used to come stay here for a year. Okay. You know, they still okay. know uh, my grandmother, rest in peace. She lived with us till I was eight years old. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I have this question. What didn't you like or what is something that you didn't like when, it, when you were raising up as a, like, to, in Ghanaian culture, like, what you don't like about Ghanaian culture? Kasapa. Were... What? Ghanaian kasapa. Huh? Ghana for? Mm -hmm. Kasapa. 
What? Eh? Bafo, you said you don't want me to speak tree, but you you are the one speaking the tree. I'm not speaking I tree. Know. I speak tree tree English. Tree English. <laughs> tree -ish. Okay. I'm speaking tree English. Okay. So repeat the question again. Repeat what you just said again. You asked me what I don't like about Ghana for. Go. Ghana for like a sap. They talk too much. Oh, okay. I'm not a sap. Ah, they talk a lot. Uh -huh. Oh. You sure? I'm positive. So, um, what do you mean by Omokasapa? Because you always are around Akata for. So why are you We don't use that word, Patro. That's okay. bad that's a bad word. We don't I don't like that word. Okay. Um So what word should I use? Black American, right? Black people. Black people, okay. Right. So um you are always around black people. Right. And you are not around Ghanaians. I'm around Ghanaians. Really? Before you guys came to visit this place, mm -hmm. Co-op City, mm -hmm. or Tracy Towers, mm -hmm. 167, mm -hmm. Colgate Avenue, mm -hmm. I was there before you. Okay. What's it? Like, I was there before everybody. Okay. Section 5, I grew up there. Okay. My church, Light of the World Ministries. Rest in peace, Junior. Rest in peace, Isaac Arku Jr., mm -hmm. my friend. Well, well Sufu's son, he died not too long ago. Oh. Burke and, Allen, Burke and Allenton. And if Ghanaians is there... Or Jamaican for was there, I was there before oh, okay. you. Oh, okay. Yeah. You were born and raised here, so you will be there before me, though. Right, right. So, back to the question. Mm -hmm. When you were growing up, right. apart from the outside people, your family, yeah. how you were brought up, mm -hmm. what didn't you like about Ghanaian culture? When you say the culture, what do you mean? Like as far as like the okay. upbringing, the raising? The upbringing, yes. Because Ghanaian I, family, um, Ghanaian parents, they will tell you, hey, we should do this, we should do this. It's uh, all right. Okay. That kind of thing, yeah. Well, to answer that question, I always said that Ghanaians, mm -hmm. Africans all together, but especially Ghanaians, mm -hmm. we are known as what I call victims of tradition. Mm -hmm. Like, evolution is the only truth mm -hmm. of life. Mm -hmm. Things grow and things die, and they grow again, and they die again. Mm -hmm. You see, how do you, how do you plant soil? Mm -hmm. You use fertilizer. Yes. The things that don't belong in the body, mm -hmm. you defecate. Yes. Death. Mm -hmm. You use the death to plant new life. Mm -hmm. With the mentality of Africans, mm -hmm. they cannot grow because they don't like to see things outside of their own perspective. Mm -hmm. We're, we're victims of tradition. Mm -hmm. it, it was this way, it was that way, and it will be this way to the end of time. Mm -hmm. That's not life. Mm -hmm. yeah, so and that's what I don't like about um, Ghanaian um, culture. Okay, so um, your family. Right. You have Ghanaian family. Ghanaian mother, Ghanaian father, right? Yes. Yeah. So what didn't you like about them when they were raising you up? Because I talked to a lot of um, Ghanaian kids that were born here. Mm -hmm. They are always saying they are, um, they are abusing them with prayers. That's, that's what. That's, that's I, will, I will. The. That's the way that he. I don't. I, I don't know who said that, mm -hmm. but that sounds a little ungrateful to me. Mm -hmm. The best thing someone can do for you is pray for you. Mm -hmm. Way more than money. Mm -hmm. Way no, more no, no, than food. No, not praying for you. You have to pray every night. What's wrong with every, that? Okay, yeah. because there's that's what he said. That's the exact way that he used. So I wanted your idea, like. How you think about that? I don't what like, do you think about that? I don't that? like that because you have to have a relationship with God. Okay. You teach them the way they'll never part the way. Oh, Buffalo. You are convincing me. You teach them the way they'll never part the way. So I don't care. That's something I... That's between him and his God. Mm -hmm. to, but like for me, no. Mm -hmm. Like that's the best gift my mother gave me was to know God. Okay. Right. That's nice. So um, what's your highest level of education? I, I, I need to finish my bachelor's degree. I'm 60 credits away from my bachelor's. Oh. Maybe less. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what do you do for a living? <laughs> yeah, I just want to know you more. I'm a rapper. Okay. Oh. There's, 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 there's no... No, it's not new. No, new to me. That's what I'm saying. I'm a rapper. I, I do film. Mm -hmm. I make music. Mm -hmm. I... I can dance very well. Mm -hmm. I can drive. Mm -hmm. I can swim. Mm -hmm. I can play basketball. I'm a rapper. There's no question. Don't ask me any other question forever. Not you, but you. 
Don't ask me any other question. And I'm not only a rapper, I'm a really, 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 really good rapper. Really good. Then you're gonna give us a free freestyle. Of course. Hey, Bafo. Where are you? And you mean you? And mom and Vim Namenyano, Munin Kofomo. After the show, Bafo, I'm a freestyle. I'm a young man, a rapping level, baby. Bafo. Who knows me? You know where you are? The vape. The vape. I need mean, my have anxiety. I'm nervous. Oh, you're what I'm nervous. Oh, really? Already. I'm nervous. You got me nervous. No, don't be nervous because you are with me. That's, That's why I'm nervous. Oh. Okay. Um, young yeah, Quiet, next question. Are, are you nervous too? No, I'm not. Why are you shaking? I'm not shaking. I didn't look at your hands, I looked at your eyes. No? Camera, can you look at my eyes? Am I shaking? No? I'm not shaking. You sure? The next question, Rafa, are you homeless? Not anymore. What do you mean by not anymore? Uh, it's past, present, and future. Okay, so what do you mean by not anymore? I've had a rough patch in the last couple of months, mm -hmm. but that patch, I've closed it up mm -hmm. with leather mm -hmm. and suede. Mm -hmm. What's well, it? Nice fabric, good fabric, mm -hmm. and put Kente cloth on top of it. Okay. So I patched that up. That rough patch is over. Now it's a beautiful patch. Okay. Like me. Okay. What's it? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So you have a room now. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Bafo. You know I'm your sister. You can tell me everything. So right? why you why you why you why you why you not jumping in the water? Okay. Are you sleeping in your car? Yes. So, you meaning of not homeless, you know? Are you talking about the, your car? Where is home? Listen, Bafo. Another the question is: Do you have an apartment or a house, or are you living in your car? Home is where the heart is. I know. So wherever I lay my head, no, is my no, no, home. No, no, no. For my viewers to be clear to be okay with the question you have to answer oh so your viewers yes i am homeless and i need a big house so if you want to donate my email is chunkiesdiner at gmail.com donate all your money and if you don't have any money go on your father's account if he has no money go on your grandmother's account if your grandmother has no money go back to ghana get a plot of land dig 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 deep get some gold and send it to me Chunkiesdiner at gmail.com. I have Apple Pay, I have Cash App, and I have Zelle. Any donations will be greatly appreciated because I am homeless. Raffle. You're so beautiful. So you said you're not homeless, and now you said homeless. What are you saying? And the email that you just gave, Junky, what? Chunkies Diner, C H U N K Y S. D I N E R. You always take any some at gmail.com. Why did you get, why did you choose that email? That's my record label. That's my home. Oh, what, bro? I don't. And your Instagram too. Who did you? Hmm? Did you eat today? Nah, Bafo. I'm the one doing the interview. No, but I'm concerned. Did nah, you, nah. Did you, why you didn't eat? I'm gonna eat later. Let's continue. Uh -huh. <laughs> then. Baffle, uh -huh. so why do you sleep in your car? Because, and this is, this is a, a, a statistic I was told not long ago. Mm -hmm. Most billionaires mm -hmm. sleep in their car. He's always giving me different answers. Oh, you know the answer? So why would you ask a question you know the answer to? No, I don't know the answer. Well, I, you said I gave you a different answer. Yes. Are you not satisfied? Okay. No, I'm not satisfied with the answer. So, I want to satisfy you. So, why do you sleep in your car? Because I know when you're going somewhere that you have to use car, but if you are tired, it, I feel like it's not comfortable enough for you to sleep in it. I've seen your car. It's okay. The first time I saw it, I guess, oh, okay, that's my first car. Oh, okay. <laughs> but... For you to sleep... What kind of car do I have? I don't know, but it's big. What kind of car do you have? So, it's an Audi Q5. You see? He doesn't want... Okay. 
so but let me tell you the truth the first day that i saw you mm -hmm. you walk in i said handsome i, well, I, I boy thought you were homeless well, I, some boy I thought you were homeless right but so they told me um i asked them so who is he and so they said he's baffled i said is he homeless and they said no so but you also said you were sleeping in your car. I said, ah, then he's homeless. I'm homeless. I was homeless. I was, I, was, I was in and out the shelter for the last two months. And I heard that your father called cops on you. Yeah. What happened? But for you, you were a bad guy. Okay. You, you, make him, you, make him, you make troubles. Like, you always create problems for your family. What's that? How can your own father call a cops on you? What did you do? I'm not, I'll plead the fifth. Next question. And do you not say, he's a very intelligent guy. So why don't you do something? Okay, Ghana, we need you. No, we don't. Patro, please. No, 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 it's true. Don't J.K. Rollins me, please. <laughs> Rollins, did you just mention Rollins? Yes, please, Debbie. Do you know Rollins? I know. No. 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 Hey, Bafo is another, another level of interview. <laughs> oh, Bafo, it's true. You have to go to Ghana. So okay. when do you want to go to Ghana? I was supposed to go to Ghana this December, but because of COVID and everything, it kind of slowed down my trajectory. Okay, so I know where the problem is. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go. So any, any small... Um, I don't want to go. Yes, any small thing. I you I, said, I, oh, I don't, I don't somebody want to go. died. I don't, I don't COVID want... came. You're making some... Excuses not to go. So I don't want to go to Ghana. Yeah, that's what I. So tell me, tell me, tell me about myself. Hey, tell me. You know everything. No, I don't know. Well, you just told me I don't want to go. I just listen to what you say. You don't, you're, not, you're not satisfied. Huh? You're not satisfied. Because the way you put your sentence. What is the way? How? What way? Okay, so at first you said you want to go to Ghana, but anytime you you want to go, people die. People die. I don't want to die. Hey, I like life. It's kind of cool. That take your time. And now you said COVID hit. That's why it didn't go. My mother went to Ghana for six months. She came back and had meningitis. You see, that's what I'm saying. You're always making an excuse. Not meningitis is an excuse? My mother almost died from a diabetic coma. Your mother was sick. It doesn't mean you're going to get sick. Ghana made her sick. You got to do better, y'all. Pregnant lady sleeping on the hospital floor. What we doing? You want me to come there? Hey, I did it. I can that. that. Okay, Bafo. Hmm. I'm gonna take you to Ghana. To what, do what? Are, what, what are we you? doing in Ghana? Hmm? Just you and me? Or it's gonna be other uh, people? Uh, only you. I'm not gonna go with you now. But you have to Bafo. go to Ghana. Yes. Another question. Anything. Ask me anything. What's the plan for the future? Um, success. We're gonna build this record label. Mm -hmm. We're going to um, partner up with all the African artists we, that we can, especially the ones back home. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to the Comerica guys. Mm -hmm. I really love what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And we want to make them comfortable in America because the Ghanaian American music industry is something that doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying it. And everyone that lives here in America, especially here in New York, they know what I'm talking about. When these Ghanaian artists come here, they don't have a place. They don't have a home where they can comfortably continue their career. Mm -hmm. And even in Ghana, from my understanding, you have to leave Ghana before you blow up. Yeah. A lot of these guys go to Europe, they go to London, they go to Germany before they can even blow up. And yet, they're still making Ghanaian music, but they can't do it in Ghana. This is what I'm told. Am I lying or is this true? I don't know much about music, uh, that kind of thing. So, but my viewers will understand. So if, a, so if an African artist comes in now, mm -hmm. how would they know who you are? I don't know. That's a problem. That's a problem. Because I'm not into music. Okay. That's why. So what are you into? I'm into, um, in the media though, but we have different sections, right? Right. So I'm into interviewing, that kind of thing, but music right. in particular. I'm into acting. Okay. Yes, I do act. Apart from the music side, nah. That's not my thing. That's my thing. Yeah, because I can't even rap. 
But you can't, that. you see? So give us our freestyle. Right now? Yes. I thought you said at the end. Okay, now. You said at the end. For, about for you now. You save the best for last. you thinking about it. Glock 9 Tech 9. Do anything to protect mom. Big B, sign on the red line. And my homie doing fair time. Want to rock a nigga to sleep. It feel like it's bedtime. Have my money by the deadline. If not, no guap ball up. That's a deadline. Now you picking up. I'm going to stick you up. Body in the carpet in the back of a pickup truck. Pelham Bay Park in the ditch where we dig you up. Listen to me carefully. I do not give a fuck about you, your moms, or your pops. The block, the ops, or the cops. With a thought trying to get top. 21 shots in my Glock. Got my age for the bang, how they rock. Plus, you know the cave is the spot. There's always listening to the slang that we spot. Plus, you know my gang in a lot. Number one question is, nigga, is you banging or not? Well, Kali Show. Number one question is you banging or not? What? Number one? You gang? Not. Number one question. Mm -hmm. Are you banging or not? Who are bang? Bang? Who are gang bang? No. Oh, Debbie, so you're not banging. Okay. Uh -huh. And what do you mean by when you bang in the Kali Show? Like, I didn't hear a word that you said, Bravo. Uh -huh. When you play it back, you'll hear it. But. It's true. I didn't hear you. Even me, I'm closer to you. I didn't hear. How can my viewers hear that? Did you hear it, sir? Was it loud and clear? You want me to do it again? You see, that's why I told you. I'm not into music. Yeah, you're missing out. Maybe you have to teach me a little bit. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a rap. Oh. I'm going to save it for the end. <laughs> I don't know. No, guys, let's show I can't do it. I can't do oh, it. Oh, Kali Show. So you didn't know. So, do it okay, in the summer and we do it in the snow. Okay. Do it in the red, but you do it for the low. Okay. Say they got greens, which you mean they gotta go. Oh. Say you baking bread, so I gotta get the dough. Say you got water, so I gotta get the flow. Say you don't know, but I do. People wanna know why they call me Bafu, why too, Ty there. Me and Ty there say the flow real sick. Me and Yaya. Me a yardie. If I go to Jamaica, they will call me a yardie. But I got a little girl, got a Barbie. Oh, you have a Don't start girl? me. Debbie da. I don't have any children. Money in the bank, so I'm trying to grow a million. People want to know how you put it in the building. I'm just chilling. So how, how about the million um, dollar that you've been talking about? You want to grow million? Billion. Billion, sorry. You want to grow billions, right? So how is it going? Mm -hmm. I heard long time ago that you want to build billion. Yeah, it's a long number. You ever seen a billion on paper? So I mean, how much do you have now? Zip zero. Zero? Yeah. What do you mean by zero? Did you start already or... Gosh, Raffle. When did you start <laughs> building that billions? When I was like seven years old. And you have zero? Yeah. Okay, guys. Please, Bafo, send um, all your money and your gold to Bafo, right? Chunky's Diner at gmail.com. I don't like your, your email. Gmail we don't like your face, but we're still here. Why, the... Why don't you change it? Because it's mine. Get yours. I have mine. So let me have mine. You get yours. I get mine. You doing well. I'm doing fine. Why are you hating? I don't understand. You are agent Satan. Take a night. Please be okay. <clears throat> Junkies, right? Whoa, Chunkies. Chunkies. Chunkies Whoa. Diner. Oh, okay. <laughs> now I got it. I Junkies. That's why I've been pushing you. I'm sorry. That's why I've been pushing you to say. You know like, what I'm saying? Say, junkies Diner? Good. Debbie, Debbie, Chunkies Diner. C H U N K Y S D I N E R. You can follow okay, us on Instagram okay. as well. Okay. Yeah, and if you have music, please send it to the email. We need and, all the music. And another thing that I don't like, you wrote something on your Insta. What's your Instagram name? Broken Batteries. How can you be a Broken Batteries? Because it's what is known as, um, uh, what do you call it? What's that? What, like, it's like Jumbo Shrimp. It's like, it's like an opposite meaning. Mm -hmm. There's a meaning behind it. Energy can never die. A battery contains energy. Mm -hmm. So if you break a battery, then what? What happens to the energy? I don't know. Ah, Gina, I don't know. Jinami. Jinami. You said Jinami. Jinami. 
I didn't mean a bet yes, yeah, right? Uh, only God knows. Oh. Hey, but for funny tree, you cry yes in the meal. Okay, so I, I was thinking about it. Oh, gosh, what's the meaning of this? But I do understand it now. Right. So, guys, you're going to end Balfour's interview now. Balfour, do you have anything to say to you, my dear? I want to say peace and blessings to everybody out there, especially back home in Ghana. Mm -hmm. um, hope everybody's doing well. Always keep God first in your heart, and everything else will follow. Hey. Is that a smile? Okay. Uh, what do you call it? <laughs> My boy is confusing me. Okay, guys, thank you for watching the Okaile Show. And until next time, my name is Okaile. And his name is Bafo. Kodia Debra Jemfi. Kodia Debra Jemfi. Jemfi no one is there, no. Like, seriously. Seriously. Bafo, take it out. We are here. No one. I gotta go to work. Who won't know me? I gotta go to work. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you.